Good afternoon ladies and gents. Today I'm going to tie a simple bait fish pattern. It's a synthetic, synthetic fly but it's got a bucktail frame in it to hold the synthetics out to stop them tail wrapping. This is materials Gus and Glint from Deer Creek and I've also got some Dave Downey definite advantage flash in there. So we'll get started. The hook we're tying on today is a Sakuma. Is it a 540, I think? I don't know where the pack is, but 540. The thread we're using today is just a UTC black. Now we started. I'll start at the back of the rear of the hook. I've already got a bit of rubbish in there. Somehow. And start off with a little bit of black bucktail. This is going to carry the, the rear half of the fly, or the tail, the main body of the fly. I'm going to put it in maybe twice the length of the hook. Just catch it in a few, a few, a few turns winding forward. Snap off your excess. The main material is Gus and Gun. Synthetic, it's got a crinkle, it sheds water fast. It comes, you take out the packet, this is three quarters used, but it's in a hank. So, take what you need. It's not a lot. And what I do is taper it in your fingers, either end, and that's you ready to go. So, what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to tie it in on the top of the hook. One third sticking out the back and two thirds sticking forward. And then I'm going to fold it, the rest over. That dictates the length of your fly. And just catch it all down. There's the length. It's not long, six, seven inch. Fine. So now I'm going to use some more bucktail, probably twice the amount I used in the bottom. Just get rid of all your little short bits. I'm going to tie it in the same length as the bottom side, the bottom bunch, but on the top. So catch it in with two or three wraps and then spread it so it goes round the hook, round down either side and fix it in. And this creates a cage for your synthetics so they can't tail wrap. And just trim off your waist. Don't trim it right in. I like to trim it. At an angle so when I come to bind it down it's easier there's no step best super glue and then tidy up tidy everything up nice and neat and then we'll finish it Right, now start your thread at your, front, your eye or hook and come back probably an eye and a half width and get some varnish on. This is just Rimmel 60 seconds. It's either Asda or Super Drug or something I bought it from. Nothing too fancy. Rimmel London. So, th this front of the hook we're going to reverse tie. So, a bit more bucktail. Okay. Not too much there. Get rid of all your short bits. And now the length I want, I, I want I, that's the length of my original my first bit of bucktail on the tail. So I want to come a bit shorter. So it starts a a natural taper. It blends in nicer. Trim it to length, sit it on top of your hook, get a couple around it, and just make sure it's spread around the hook, and then tidy up. Tidy everything up as you go, then come back to where your bucktail is. Get some varnish, that'll soak in there nicely, and then get a push tool, 
in this case a pen and get your bucktail folded back bring your thread in front of the hook in uh, front of the bucktail and then make a dam a dam of thread up against your bucktail pushing the bucktail back to the desired angle if you tie over it it just goes flat so you want to tie up to it and all this is going to do is going to keep your bulk of your synthetics so when you're happy with your angle you've got then with some flash this stuff from Dave Downey it's very nice there's a lot of movement in it this is a blend black and red I don't know what it's called uh, just red and black sparkle flash so take there's maybe 30 fibres there and then taper the ends in your fingers both ends and we're going to tie this in 70-30 so 70 right on top of the hook just catch it in a few wraps and then spread it round the hook with your fingers always wrapping backwards and then this this bit here just take it split it in half and just fold it underneath and tidy everything up and then bring your thread back to touching your eye flip your hook again we're going to go in with some gloss take it taper your ends but this time fold it in half and cut it so you now you've got double but it's got a taper and this one we we'll want it to come to merge into the tail so maybe three quarters of length of it turn it off turn it on your fingers and tie it directly on the bottom of the hook Rotate your rice again. So on the top here, we want a bigger amount, maybe double what you put on the bottom. So same again, take it off the hank, taper it in your fingers, fold it, but this time when you fold it over, stagger it. So it's, uh, it's stepped, and then turn it over, because you want your short bit to be on the top. So find your length, same as the bottom, Cut it, or trim it to length, and then the staggered bit, you want to tie that in on the bottom. So when you fold it, it's on the top. So just catch that in, a few wraps backwards, wet finish. Don't have to bother about trimming your ends here, they're short anyway. Um, just whip finish, get rid of your thread and get some varnish on again. A lot of varnish in here, I like to soak right in, right in through the material. So, now you're at this stage, you want to find your hook eye. Okay, find your two things, your two clumps of materials. Split the bottom one, that goes either side of the hook, and then fold the rest back. Yeah, if, you've, if you just get rid of some of the wee short bits that stick out, just push it back with your nail, or if you came too far forward, you can use one of these, a fugly packer, a pack cone, awesome bit kit. Now, get your, your thread tied back on, and when doing this, we're not going to tie over the material again, we're just building a thread dam, so it puts in a, a kink in the material and just forces it back. Three or four, turn wet finish, and that's you. Now, when I'm, there will be a couple of short bits that are, don't sit right. I just like to nip them off. Depends how fussy I want to be. I'm quite fussy. So, there you go, there's your fly. 
Another important step is I finish the fly off with diamond fine UV resin, Deer Creek. Now how I how I use this is I'm gonna put it around the head of the eye of the fly, covering our thread wraps and some of the just the starts or the butts of the glisten gun. And this, this as well just holds and keeps the taper of the fly, the shape of the fly. If your torch works, you give it a zap. Doesn't need long, just a few seconds. Done. So just make sure you're happy with it still. I've got an odd one there. Now, eyes. I've got, tried every type of eye in the market, but. I am obsessed with these. They're from Deer Creek. They've got loads of eyes in the range, all different colours. They're awesome colours. They stay bright and they're quite hardy, like tooth resistant. So what I do with them, I stick them in my paw. I use this. This is uh, a Loctite flexible gel glue, general purpose thing. So if I don't drop an eye on the floor, I take the eye whatever way I want it to sit, roll it over, a decent amount of glue in the back, and then I just set it on where I want it. I don't push it in, I like to keep my shape and my profile. So same again on the other side. is really messy once you get the hang of it so it's all right so take your fly out your vise just check your eyes are sitting where you want them to sit make sure there's no random fibers that you're not happy with and there you go that there is a fly that i fish with every time i'm out fishing it's absolutely awesome Small simple bait fish, say six, seven inch long, um, lightweight, sheds water fast, and black and red's a classic combo. Right, thanks for watching.